Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy, and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel, and this is my first impressions look on the Li Ning Wow All City 8 V2. So, this is the Wow AC8, this is the Wow AC8 V2, so version 2, and obviously, as you guys can tell, it is a good amount different, you know? It's using the same traction pattern and cushioning system, the upper is just a little different. So, uh, this shoe is, it normally retails for 110 bucks, but you can get it on Famuji right now for 95 bucks. So, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box, I mean the AC8. This shoe is incredible. It's such a, such a good performer. I love playing in this shoe and it's a great looking shoe too. So obviously I feel like this shoe is gonna perform really well too. And for 95 bucks, that's a great, great price, especially for a leaning product. Leaning, uh, they price their shoes, their products a little bit higher because they, they're more like a premium brand, I would say, but um, 95 bucks is a great price. But anyways, as far as the traction goes, you know, it's the same exact thing as the ACA and the traction on the AC8 was phenomenal. It bites really, really hard. You stop pretty much on a dime. It has a really nice high-pitched squeak as well, which I love. And also it's super durable. You know, they're, they're advertising it as a high abrasion resistant and they're saying that it's 33% more durable than traditional rubber outsole. So that's a good thing. And obviously I'm gonna be playing outdoors with this shoe. So I don't think there's going to be, going to be any issues. I mean, cause like if you feel the rubber, it's just super thick grooves. Uh, as far as the heel to toe transition goes, it's smooth as well. You know, you got a nice curved shape here in the heel. You got a nice curved shape here in the forefoot and you got a good amount of forefoot flex. So running on the court, I didn't have any issues with the AC8. Uh, I, I guess it kind of sucks that, you know, it's super caged, so you don't really get a whole lot of heel compression, but this shape here in the heel helps a lot. So it's not a huge deal. And uh, we have a midfoot shank plate here. You guys can see it's a, uh, it's a little plastic piece for torsional support. Uh, as far as the cushion goes, cushion was something that was a little lackluster. You know, they're using full length cloud cushion and cloud cushion is super soft and very, very nice. You're low to the ground and all that, but you don't really get all too much from it. You know, as you guys can see here on the lateral side, it's super duper caged. Uh, I guess on the medial side it's fully exposed, but you know, <laughs> you don't really feel all too much from that. So you don't really get like that soft feeling or you don't really get like a whole lot of bounce. I mean, just a little bit. And I would say it's better than like traditional Phylon. And impact protection was really good when I was playing in it as well. It's just, uh, you don't really feel all too much. So I would say it's more just like a responsive cushioning setup. All right, as far as the materials go, so the materials here, uh, in the toe box, we have a little bit of fuse. There looks to be a fuse material that's stitched on and then another clear fuse that's over that. So you get a lot of durability. It stiffens the uh, toe box up a little bit. And if you do toe drags, you're gonna be good to go. And then this black material is pretty much the same as the Nike Element 87. So super duper thin material and it's very breathable and you can literally see through it. It's see-through, that's how thin it is. So, well that acts as a shroud and covers this material that goes over your foot. The material underneath that is pretty much a mesh material that's connected to this tongue. And if you feel it, it's just a really, really thin and very, very minimal material. It feels good. And then coming back here into the heel, we have like a synthetic suede material. And then if you look at the inside of the material, we got some nylon. And then we pretty much have an internal like material that's separate from this suede material. So we got a dual layered system in the ankle area, which reminds me of the Why Not 0.2 a lot. Uh, it doesn't feel like super bulky here, but I don't like how they added that. You know, I feel like that's a little unnecessary. It adds weight, it adds a little extra bulk as well. The tongue has a little bit of padding, and then this ankle part, uh, you actually have like two Achilles pillows. They're in the shape of a circle, but it's not like, super well padded you know it doesn't protrude out all too much so there's that but the overall materials are super nice i really like this shroud design with the zipper as far as how it looks how it like actually works though it sucks right so tying the shoe and lacing it up is kind of a pain in the ass so obviously to put on the shoe you have to uh, unlace everything and then unzip the shroud right so once you do that you slide your foot in and then you gotta lace up the shoes right so lacing up the shoes especially with the eyelets you know that are like closer to the toe 
uh, you have to put your fingers into the shroud, which is kind of annoying. And then once you tighten it, it kind of loosens up again. Like the eyelids don't hold the laces. You know, sometimes shoes do that, uh, but in this shoe, it doesn't really do that. So you don't really get like a super tight fit from the laces, which kind of sucks. Um, and then there's this stupid elastic thing here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That kind of like uh, makes it so that you can't lace up the, the laces or tie the laces very comfortably. And then once you do that, you got to put the shroud over the laces and then zip it up. So it's just a whole process. It, it kind of is annoying, but I guess it's a pretty clean look, you know? So the lacing system, I mean, obviously if you want to cut this elastic band, you can. I probably will because it's annoying. But other than that, uh, the, the materials are super nice. Uh, as far as the fit goes, uh, go true to size and you should be good to go. Lengthwise, I was good. Uh, Widthwise, I would say it's around normal and the here in the toe box is pretty damn tight. And then once you tighten up the, the zipper, it gets even more snug here in the midfoot, which I kind of like that. That's, that's a nice little feature of uh, the shroud material. You know, you get a little bit extra support and the fit in the shoe is really good for me. If you have a wide foot or you like to have a roomier fit, I would suggest going up half a size or maybe even a full size. As far as the support and lockdown goes, I had no issues with the AC8. <laughs> you guys see uh, this plastic piece here on the lateral side. Uh, you, you're not gonna have any issues. You know, it's a super supportive shoe for lateral containment. Like if, if, here in the forefoot, you got, you got this plastic. Here in the midfoot, you got the foam coming up. And then here in the heel, we got the plastic coming up again. And then for lateral stability, I had no issues in the AC8, so I don't think I'm gonna have any issues in the V2, you know? Uh, there's really no outrigger, but you can see the outsole and this plastic piece uh, protrude out a lot here on the lateral side, and you have a very flat, low base. So lateral stability is probably going to be good in the V2, just like it was here in the AC8. All right, moving on to the weight. The weight is probably gonna be something that's not good for the shoe because, you know, you guys see all this rubber and you guys see all this plastic and then the foam coming up. I feel like it's probably like 14 ounces, I think. Ooh, 14.81 ounces. So pretty damn heavy and pretty damn like bulky feeling, like bottom heavy, you know, especially here in the heel. I wonder how much the AC8 weighs. Oh, 14.81 ounces. So pretty much the same weight as the V2. So I guess the shroud didn't really add too much weight to the shoe, which is a good thing. But yeah, 14, like almost 15 ounces is pretty damn heavy. But to be honest, like I didn't really notice the weight all too much when I was playing the AC8 just because of how good the traction was. I felt super fast and very quick. You know, my foot was very, very locked down. I didn't feel slow at all. And the cushion wasn't to the point where it's like too soft. I didn't feel laggy at all. It was a very responsive cushion actually. So the weight didn't really bother me all too much, even though, I mean, if it was a little bit lighter, uh, I wouldn't mind that, but uh, I don't I don't think it was a huge deal for me in the AC8. So I don't think it's going to be a huge deal for me here in the V2s. All right, as far as the aesthetics go, uh, I, I feel like the regular AC8 looks a little bit better. As I always say, I just like the look of laces better, you know, like, as opposed to like no laces. I mean, obviously this has laces, but when you, when you put the zipper up, it looks like there's no laces, right? So like, for example, the next levels don't really look good to me. I don't know, for some reason though, like with the zipper design, it doesn't look as bad as the next levels, you know? So I, I feel like this still looks pretty dope, but it just doesn't look as good to me as the uh, original AC8s, but it's still a pretty dope looking shoe, pretty clean. I love uh, the color mismatching in this colorway, you know? So we can see like uh, the elastic bands are different colors as well as the pull tabs. And then here on the outsole, it's different as well. Like if you look at the lateral side here, it's orange, here it's yellow. So I do like the mismatched colors in this colorway. That's pretty dope. Uh, so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comments section below. So wrapping things up, uh, I'm probably not gonna do a performance review. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, it is an older shoe um, because I did do a uh, first impressions of this and then uh, there was a defect in my pair of AC8. So I had to return it. And then uh, I kind of forgot about the shoe and then I got this pair. <laughs> and then uh, it was a little too late to do a performance review. So I just didn't do one. So I don't know, uh, do you guys want to see a performance review of the V2s? I mean, the V2, I mean, the AC8 is a great, great performer. So it'll probably perform pretty much the same as the AC8. 
And uh, I mean, if you guys want to see a review, like just DM me on Instagram. And if there's a good amount of people that want to see one, I'll probably do one, you know? Uh, but just for my first impressions, yeah, it's probably gonna perform very, very well, just like the AC8. If it doesn't, I'll probably do like an update video for you guys, but uh, that's just what I'm speculating right now. I mean, really nothing's changed all too much. You know, the weight is pretty much the same. Traction is very, very good, just like the AC8. Cushion's the same. Uh, the materials, uh, I would say are a little bit thinner, so maybe even a little bit better for the V2s. So yeah, uh, there's my first impressions of the All City 8 V2s. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.